Hey Stampers, Gainer again and I'm coming back um, with week 19 sketch. Uh, yeah it is week 19. <laughs> so I'll show you my card. Uh, it required a piece of paper not so big as the card with birds all over it and a nice square and scalpels and little banners and so this is my version of week sketch 19. So I've still got the birds in the background. I've added some stitching on the scallop which it required the sentiment was supposed to be down here with these little banners but I added my paper first like a silly sausage so I glued these ends on but instead of putting the sentiment down there I've just punched it out with the same scalpel and just slotted it in offset it a little bit so you could still see the green around there yeah this is all it required but uh, I found some top folding note cards and instead of doing it that way I did it this way I then just stamped a few little leaves and went over with my um, colouring pencil and then I wet it slightly with my tongue just to get the darker bits on the leaves just to give us the inside a bit of decoration I just think it's so cute it didn't require a ribbon it just required the thread but I thought I've got loads of this and it goes with the papers so let's get and believe it or not I can get my other scallop out of this one out of this scrap piece of paper yeah believe it or not if I put that in at a certain angle there I get it another one out of it so I'm not really letting any go to waste. <laughs> we'll keep this then. Let me just see, I've got all my bits. Here's the little pieces for my banners. And all I did, like I say, for my sentiment, I just went in, in between those two there and that side. And punch that out for later. So now that can be layered either bang on perfect or I can just move it to us you know or move it up a little bit so you can still see the green but well, that's what I'm going to do for that to get my little banner pieces I use this they're not any particular width I just put them in and you only need small ones Pop. <laughs> There's one. Oh, that one might be the same width, so. I'll cut that down a little bit more. I just eyeballed them. I didn't measure them in, in any particular form. Doesn't matter how wide they are. I'm leaving about an inch and a half, I think. Just put that end in. I mean, you could cut these by yourself with a pair of scissors. And like I say, the sweet required bird paper. You didn't have to, you don't have to use bird paper, but I like to try and keep it as close to the sketch as possible. There we go. You don't really need them any uh, bigger than that. So this time I'm gonna add my ribbon first. So again, another top folding card, but we're just gonna turn it this way. Four and eight by well it's actually four and an eighth width by eleven and three quarters just folded at five and seven eighths. This is this is the exactly the same piece it's just turned over I just didn't want too much white showing so that is gonna go on here first oh I've just had my tea it was lovely 
chicken biryani. Oh, very nice, very nice. So I'm leaving a little bit of space. So it's quite even top and bottom and at the sides, but I'm leaving a big a gap because, you know, I am gonna add that and wrap it around. I know it's a little bit long, but it doesn't matter. So I'll grab myself some tape. Look, I'm coming to the end of this one. It's against the plastic. I think in fact it's run out. There we go. Jobs the good one. So I've just got a bit of tear and tape. Do you know what? I've got a, a tiny little blister, uh, splinter in my finger. I wonder if I glue my finger to a bit of tape and it might come out. Pull it out, yank it out for me because it's sharp. Did I get it? No, it's still there. <laughs> And I wax out. Oh, I think I might have got it. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Boyce, I'm feeling it. What are you after, Mr. Boyce? The key ring thing, so you had. Uh, in there. Okay. In the back. See them? There's two different sizes. It might be on the top, actually. Leave that bag there. Okay. Was it in there? Oh, I yeah, think I You got them? There's two different sizes. Help yourself, Mr. Boyce. Thank you. It's all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about this, girls. Can you shut the living room door as well, please? Yeah, well, no, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm peeling back the tape now. So I'm just going to make sure I line this up. Yeah, I want that a little bit higher. I want it to come along the bottom of this piece. And I'm gonna oh, take off the excess. I did tie a little knot with what was left, but whether I can do that with this one, I don't know. If not, it doesn't matter. It was just an idea because I had a little bit of leftover ribbon. Wait, ooh, no, that's gonna look messy. No, not with that one. <laughs> so now I'm using this new gold thread that come with the one of the combo packs from Stampin' Up from the pre-order are absolutely stunning. And again, I'm gonna... I want, let me just get a little tiny bit more tape. Because I've gone over that, want to be able to wrap round it three times see so tiny little bit dotted on there it does fray this does quite a bit mind so one through the center uh, and I'm gonna cheat so I don't waste this little stuff around the back I don't need the big ones, I can use my little ones. It does cut. And then again, I'm going to go on the side, turn a little bit over, and cross down to the bottom, and stick that down. I rushed on the first card and guarantee that I would. Oh, I got sticky down the bottom there again. So I've got that beautifully added on now and I've not wasted none 
going round the back of the car. So add a bit of tape. Whoops. Make sure that's stuck down. And you've got that beautiful shape then. I can pull that down a wee bit. Perfect. That is gorgeous. Now I can glue. I don't mind that it's bending up a little bit because it'll straighten out when we attach it to the card. I'm quite liking the thought of having this card on the side as well. It looks quite cute. So instead of rubbing the front and disturbing the ribbon, I'm just going to rub from the back. Flatten out any sharp pieces. Oh, that is so cute. And that is, looks so much better than having it cut off there and there and there and there. Looks more tidy. So, oh, I need a piece of car, white card stuck. Cut to three inches so I can get my little machine in. I love that little machine. But with my next order, I am going to order the stamping up one as a half price item. So it cost me £28 instead of £56. And it's got an extra half inch cutting space. It's three and a half inches. Whereas this is three. You've got then magazine, which will tell you if it, you need the big machine or the small one to cut out. So, perfect. Get that on. Perfect, that's what we need. And then that's from the stitch shape dies. And I've got that then for another card. Very frugal when it comes to the white card stuck. Can't beat a good punch though. They'll save on so much die cutting. A lot of people, some people love die cutting. So I did go for the smaller one at first. And now I've added all that and I need that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I can get that just under there. Lovely. I thought I'd glued everything down, but I haven't. I mean, you could add pattern paper here if you wanted to, but it called for a white space. Just tuck that under and just leave the white stitching. But I don't want to press that down yet because I'm going to add my little banners. So I just another extra line of glue and then I can just give a flick with the finger one of them needs to be on top actually so I need to cut that off it's uh, the other one I didn't add as much glue so just want to tuck them under See if I can get this one under any further. No, so I'll cut that down again. What about this one? No. Just give it a little flick of your finger. Just give it a curl up edge. And then you can press them, and then I'm just going to add the smallest lot there. And then this one will have to be cut down. And this one calls to go on top. Don't ask me why, the others are, are meant to go underneath, it's just the way the sketch was. a bit 
morning. There we go. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm going to add this on dimensionals. I glued the other one down, but it looks a bit as if it's struggling a little bit. So I'm going to just add two at the top. Remove the back in. And then just give this a little, only a little bit, you don't need a lot. And try and keep that in the centre. So it looks quite balanced now. So the sentiment I'm using is from Free as a Bird as well. The world needs more of you. Oh, I love that. And I'm just going to aim, because I've got it lined up, I'm just going to aim those lines to go through the centre. Perfect, look at that. How cute. And I'll come back for that in a minute. Just leave that to one side. Just gonna open my card and take those gorgeous leaves. And I'm just gonna add a few. It's coming down this side. That's how sweet is that? I love it. I think I managed to pull that splinter out with the tearing tape because I can't feel it now. Give yourself a little waxing. <laughs> so that's going to go on the front in a bit. Just going to take my, I think this is old, oh it's granny apple green actually. So. them a quick colour. I was going to leave them black at first and then I thought just how can we add colour without using the blends and staining right through the cards so I thought oh my crayons pencils even I'll lift it up and show it in a minute it's worth that little bit of extra. We didn't do much on the card itself, so. Why not give it a good. I haven't used these pencils in ages. Sounds like my neighbour's got the kids. He's not the quietest neighbour in the world. They're not too bad in the week. It's just they don't believe in being quiet on the weekend either. So I'm just I'm not even pressing too hard, I'm just giving them a gentle rub. Making sure I've coloured them all in. I think this is from the second release of crayons because of it pencils. Last one, and then I'll go over with a bit of shade in there, just by dipping the end on the tongue. Then go in in those. Little creases. I'll lift it up in a sec. You don't have to wet it, I don't suppose. You could, you could really just press really hard. I think it's quicker to wet it. Then 
actually and it shows that you've gone to a bit more trouble then as well adding a bit of shading in there we go let me lift that up for you look at the difference and they're cute bit of shading going on so when it's open the card got that beautiful pleasant design down the side as well love that yeah i think these are the second release ones assortment number two yeah because these are in cherry cobbler flirty flamingo cajun craze crushed curry granny apple green garden green coastal cabana balmy blue night of navy and gorgeous grape And now I've got no staining coming through. Whereas if you use the blends, it would it would have bled through into there. So grab my glue for I've got to make a little bow as well. And I always say it every time we do a sketch card, but it's perfect if you lose your mojo. Go and have a look at some sketches. And I'm going to I'm going to just offset that again so I can see the green. That way it keeps my sentiment nice and straight as well. So, again with this gorgeous ribbon. Uh, the only thing I'm missing now is that. I had too much on the other one. So, just going to make bunny ears. Where's that gone? Oh, there it is. Hello, you. Come out of hiding. Oh my goodness. It's gone into my nail. <laughs> it's so fine. This stuff is finer than uh, linen thread. There, I've got it. Yay. It doesn't seem to curl like the linen thread does. That's so sweet. There we go. And I'm just going to add a blob of my glue on the back. It takes seconds to go off. <coughs> and I'm just going to pop that right there. I'm going to hold it down. With my pokey tail. Oops. It will go off. Cute little bow. Let's tell you what, let's put that down there instead of on the back of the bow that way. There we go, I'm going to grab some little gems, I'm going to have one there, and one there, and because we haven't got that little bow, I'm going to put another two there. just to distract so we've got five in total but there we go let me see if uh, I know what I'm going to do where's my shimmer pen <laughs> oh now be I'm just going to add some shimmer to some of these little flowers
the bird's eyes. Is okay. It's my neighbour working in the garden. I don't know what he's working on. And last but no means least, I'm going to take my white gel pen. When it wants to start coming out. just sets it off. Didn't hear him. Perfect. How sweet is that? I love this stuff. But this is not going to last long. I can see it going. Oh, but it's just thin. That's all. You won't get much on this roll. It's, you'll get the same length as your ribbon, but it doesn't look a lot because it's so micro thin. Absolutely gorgeous though. Let me grab a glue dot. Just so I can keep thread from unraveling all the time. So there we go. There is my version of week 19 sketch. I prefer this one because I was able to wrap it this time. I get so has uh, I get so carried away. I glue things down and then I think, oh my god, I forgot to wrap, I forgot to wrap. So that one with the ribbon, this one with an extra couple of gems and my gorgeous free as a bird stamp set that's getting carried over as well. I hope you like it. Please give it a try and uh, come and join in with the sketches. We love it when more people join in. We like to see all the variations on a Sunday when I put them on the blog. It just fat it just amazes me how many different versions of the same card can be made so many times. I just love it. And then we got that beautiful detail on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you for watching. Till next time. Love you all. Bye.